Hi there, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to create a gradient with Paint Shop Pro Photo X2. And to finish the reflection technique, you need to be able to create your own gradient. Now, Paint Shop Pro comes with a whole bunch of gradients and chances are the one that you want is not going to be part of the gradients that they have. So, let's get started. To do to create a gradient, you need to get into the materials palette and you do that by just tapping there and oh, it's called the materials properties. You can do colors, you can do gradients, you can do patterns here. We're going to play around with gradients. So, let's see. There are a bunch of gradients already built into Paint Shop Pro and unfortunately I can't move this window around. It just goes wherever it wants without any care about where I want it to be uh, because I'm using the video recorder here. So if I tap here, there we got that one. We can have a, a linear a rectangular, a uh, radial, or this one, whatever that's called. That's radial. This is called sunburst. Okay. Um, if that's not suitable for what you want to do, you're going to have to create your own. So I'm just going to move this a little ways out of the way, and we're going to edit. Here's the gradient editor. Now you can see that last gradient I chose had a whole bunch of markers in it and all kinds of cool things going on. That's not what we want, so we're going to create a new one, and we'll call it Pumpkin. We'll just call it Pump for short. Okay, Pump. Now, to get the colors we want, we select this one, tap on it, or if you're using a mouse, I'm using the tablet, uh, you can left click on it. Now, when I come over to my picture, you can see it turns to an eyedropper. And we can just go around here and we can find a color we like. How about this right there? Now, you can see that color is now here. Now I'm going to tap this one and that is going to be the active one now. So we'll take maybe up there. Okay, so there's our gradient now. I can change the midpoint so I have more of the light or more of the dark color just by sliding this around or I can just double tap there and hit 50 and that gives you the where you want it to be. So there you go. That's how you do it. It's very simple. So we'll close that. Close that. Yes. There's our gradient. Now we can move this around the center point. Or we can come to here and we can change these, these things. So if I want to put it right in the middle, I'll just hit 50%. I can invert it. And when you're happy with what you got, you just say, OK. Now, let's get the layers palette up here. I'm going to add a new raster layer above the background and below the pumpkin. So, we'll go here, new raster layer. Okay. And that's where we're going to put our gradient. I'll take that out of the way. And I'll bring the toolbar. I will bring the toolbar. There we go. There's the toolbar. The way you apply the gradient is you use this flood fill tool it lives with something else, with the uh, color changer. So you just want the flood fill. Take this out of the way. And with that center, that new layer selected, or activated, we just click here. There we go. There's our gradient. Isn't that cool? That's really neat. So that's how you do it. So when you're doing it with your photograph on the reflection technique, you choose a couple colors that are pertinent to you and that you would like to have. Now maybe that looked better if it was a bit more black, but uh, hey, it works. So there you go, and I hope you find this useful, and I'm sure you'll be able to uh, make some stunning reflections with this. So thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate the time, and uh, if you found this video on YouTube, uh, you can always visit my site at www.the-graphics-tablet.com. Pay us a visit. Check out this uh, reflection technique. It's really quite neat. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time.